Also, guys, me here. Uh, today's video uh, is going to give you a few tips on how to improve the resistance uh, in casting with uh, the grinder using braid. So, guys, this is uh, basically a very systematic way of uh, working for improving the resistance. So, a lot of small things that need to be paid attention to improve your, your distance so I'm going to start with uh, our trace first and then go on to the rod and the wheel and then after the, the actual casting action so I'm going to start first with uh, the sinker uh, having the correct sinker uh, to cast far is very important so the sinker that I use is a, it's a cone sinker uh, it's shaped in a certain way it's cut off a bit short in the bottom uh, but it's, it's shaped aerodynamically, so it, it goes in a bit further. Uh, the trace length is important, whereby you have uh, a slightly longer sinker line than a hook line. Uh, so it, when we attach the dingle dangle to the sinker, it goes as one piece. Uh, thereafter, the size of the bait that you use is very important also. So a more streamlined bait that you use Will, will aid you in, in casting further. So once we are about to cast and get ready to cast, we're gonna take the dingle dangle and attach this to the sinker so it goes as one mass. Uh, we're then gonna go on into uh, your actual uh, tackle, your rod and your reel. Uh, this is important because it's, uh, you need a balanced combination of your rod and your reel uh, to get more distance. So using a heavy rod you need to use the reel and the quarters so the, the, the rod that I'm using here today is the Assassin Horizon double XH uh, zero uh, it's, uh, I use uh, I use a seven ounce sinker for this so weighting the correct sinker for the rod that you use is very important in fact loading these rods uh, the reel that I use my personal best uh, reel for distance is the Shimano uh, Stella 20,000. Uh, I feel that casts better than much of the other reels that I use. Uh, for simple reason, uh, it has this lip which uh, makes our break flow quite easy. Uh, another tip that I use to get extra distance is to always have your braid uh, relatively full. So if you look at it, your your braid must be uh, almost almost as full so the, the braid usually comes out easily out of the spool uh, having an important uh, leader knot is very important because if you have like a, a huge leader knot uh, this usually touches your eyes and uh, it holds you back so having a thin and small uh, FG knot is what I use uh, which, which is small and goes out to the eyes easily helps you to take off and, and, and then cast further. So people here is the tackle that we use from the trace to the rod. Uh, when it comes to the action of the casting, uh, it, it varies from person to person. Guys use different actions, different techniques. Uh, please note that all, all different rods, uh, you've got to use different uh, loading techniques based on uh, your personal attributes. So if you're like a powerful guy or you've got strength, uh, you should use a shorter drop and you load the rod more with power. Uh, on the other hand, if uh, strength is not your it's not your strongest point, then you, you can lower your drop and use it more with momentum. But with these rods, they are fast action rods, so the, the more power you put into it, uh, the more distance you can get. So basically when I when I start car when I when I Start, uh, to get ready for my cast, I make sure I get my, my footing correct. So you, I make sure that I'm, I'm, I'm planted, my feet flat onto the ground. Uh, it's, it's, it's planted in because your, your legs have to be strong into the ground to grow that rod. Another important tip is to have your your your, your, your FG knot on the lower end of your. Of your spool, uh, I'm just gonna adjust it and put it in the bottom so it comes off easily. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna demonstrate the actual casting uh, action for you. 
and uh, hopefully you can try it and see what works best for you. So basically, we get ready for our cast. We take our dingle dangle. It has an end here and we attach it. It has something like this. So this goes as one mass. I usually use probably uh, the bait is usually like a meter and a half or two meters. Uh, depends on the size of the bait. I therefore use I also use a bionic finger. Uh, which a bionic finger uh, is just two wraps that I use around that uh, helps with the distance. So basically, when we are going to cut, I usually I hold my breath when I'm going to cast. So that keeps your core intact because the power comes from the core, uh, amongst other muscles. So I hold my breath when, I, when I'm when I'm exploding the cast. And uh, yeah, guys. Just have a look at this is the action. Uh, you can learn from it, and uh, you can you can see what works best for you. And also, when you are finishing your cast, it's important that you, you keep your rod at a 45 degree angle, so the braid oscillates out through the, the, the eyes, so this, this doesn't hold you back. So if you just keep your rod up, it's in fact holding you back. When straight down, it doesn't. You gotta follow that movement. So this small trick helps you go a long way. So yeah, here it goes. I'm gonna demonstrate how I actually cast, and yeah, you can that from. Thank you, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you learned something.